And um, I have had many people say, oh my gosh, Drabecki, when I watch Ty Block <laughs> out there throwing on the mound, he looks just like you. And I don't know if that's a compliment or not, buddy. <laughs> but I will say one thing. I'm glad to be named in the same space as you. Okay? Oh, I'm glad to be named in the same space as you. That's humbling. Well, I didn't say that for that remark, but I thank you for it. You know what? i got to tell you. Um, we've had some really good conversation uh, prior to this. One of the things that Ty and I talked about was this whole idea of baseball being a platform and, and how he sees it. Um, beyond just being this baseball player that goes out there to do something for himself and for his teammates. Because at the end of the day, we want to win. At the end of the day, these guys strap it on and go out and give their best effort every game because there's a goal. And they don't quit. The one thing I love about this ball club is that they don't quit. And they're not going to quit until that last out is played in the last game of the season. And that's the beauty of this ball club. And I think... Um, I think as a result of that, you guys get this amazing platform from which you can then be you in front of these people that love you so much. And, and so I just ask you, um, what does that mean to you? And, and how do you view the platform that God has given you? And, um, and how are you living it out as you do this thing called life? Well, to kind of build on what Nick was talking about earlier, uh, all of us have our identity founded in Christ and that relationship with Jesus and everything that he's given us. We've get, been given this blessing to be able to play this game. You know, this kid, the, as a kid, you grow up, you want to play baseball. You know, that's that's your dream is to, to be able to come to AT&T Park and one of the most beautiful stadiums in all the world and to come out here every single day and get to play a game is pretty amazing. And... Just knowing that we had this opportunity to go out and glorify God with our bodies and what we do every day on the field, having you guys around us, supporting us, it's pretty awesome to know that we have this power to impact people's lives. And seeing all of you out here and being able to share our testimonies with you, it's amazing because God is working in each and every single one of our lives. He knows what's in our hearts and who we're trying to become. And as long as we keep our focus on Him and that relationship with Jesus, we know where our eternity is going to be. And it, it's pretty awesome. When, when I look at this game, I look at it as an opportunity to bless people's lives. I, I come to the park every day and get to hang out with these incredible men. I get to be mentored by these guys that come out and they, they put their li their bodies and their their lives on the line for, for you guys. They, they put it out there and they, uh, they go out there and they compete. But at the same time, they're out there in the community. They're making an impact. You look at what Buster Posey's doing with his foundation for childhood cancer. Uh, all these guys have their different things that they're doing. It's pretty amazing to see the impact that we can have on people's lives. And I think that the biggest thing for me is coming into each day with an attitude of, learning and an attitude of positivity. What can I do to learn today and what can I do to make an impact on the people around me? So using baseball as that platform, whether I'm having a good day or a bad day, I know that I can come in with a positive attitude and try to make an impact on people's lives, whether it's one person or 50,000 people here in the stadium. That's, that's our goal every single day is to, to live our life and let that light of Jesus Christ shine through each and every one of us. You know, um, 